Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. I'm gonna share with you GBPN analysis. And overall, we are going to look at also what is happening through the yen pairs because it is not a clear situation overall. So I left the chart with the old drawings for a simple purpose. During the previous time that I shared this analysis, the price was at this point. It was on September 11th, the date here. And as you can see, the price moved down from the previous analysis. We were at this point and from here the price moved all the way down and it reached our, all our targets. So what may happen next with GBP-EN? I'm going to break this down from a weekly time frame so far. Our targets are not useful anymore, what we had before. On a weekly perspective, we can see that on the left part, on the right part of the structure, we have a resistance from above and also another support zone here. So this is located in this area. We cannot say that we have uh, an inside bar here. However, I am only not taking in consideration this candle, the week of this candle, considering that it was created from the Bank of Japan. So overall, if the price is going to increase on the weekly chart, it will face strong resistance from above close to 183.50 approximately and we may see the price moving down again from this area here. Let's see what do we have on a lower time frame, on a daily time frame. If we are going to look at in this perspective, I'm going to increase this because it was a very high time frame. And this is where we have the tops and the bottoms so far. So we have a clear zone 183.80. This is the resistance zone that we have from above. And on the daily chart, the price is moving only up and downs here. We may see GBPN testing this zone and probably it may move down again. It was moving in this area since uh, September 7th, as we may see. September 7th. And we are blocked in the current chart here. This movement that we saw during the previous time, it was created from the Bank of Japan when they intervened in the market during the previous uh, days. It was the beginning of October. However, we are going to look at this point a bit later. And on a lower time frame, we can also see that the price is not taking a clear direction. So it keeps moving up and down in this area here. And we have another corrective zone and the market is not clear yet where it will go next. In the current conditions for another type of trading, let's say, we are again within another train, uh, trade range uh, uh, movement. So this is getting very difficult overall. It is not clear pattern. So we have patterns within, within patterns. We may see GBPN testing 182.70 approximately and it can move down from this area. And any movement above this zone here should expose the price to a bigger bullish wave and later we may see the movement. However, I don't like the bigger picture that GBPN is already offering because we have also another top that is 186.60. So as long as we are exposed to the top, any break through this area can expose the retest of the top. That is why I don't like selling GBP yen at this moment. So we are going to focus only on this area here. On a daily chart, we can also see a type of head and shoulder pattern that is taking shape. However, I don't want to anticipate the bigger movement. It can be something similar. 
But what is very important that we all should know is that the bearish movement will begin only when the Bank of Japan will intervene in the market. So if the Bank of Japan is going to change the yield curve, it is, on, it is the only opportunity that we will see the yen pairs moving down. So far they are not doing anything yet. All of this movement that was created during the previous time, the previous interve uh, intervention during the uh, beginning of October was created not uh, related with the yield curve control but it was created from an intervention uh, on the USD yen. So the main focus for uh, the Bank of Japan is only USD yen as I explained also before. They are watching this price, le this price level very closely so far. I think that uh, they are monitoring this every day. When the price was at this point on October 3rd, as you can see, price moved down in a very aggressive way, despite the fact that they didn't accept that they were in the market at this moment. It was visible that uh, they created liquidity because the price moved down uh, 280 pips on USDN and th this type of movement was transmitted across all the EM pairs, so it was not only here. USDN is already testing 149.90 by exposing the Bank of Japan again. So the market is focused on this point. Some days ago we saw this bearish movement happening without any reason. It was very strong, probably it was also any market sell-off or probably it was again the Bank of Japan because it was created uh, through all the charts. And today we also saw another small move when the price reached 150 today. It moved down 40 pips, but I think that this was created mainly from the market reaction and not from the Bank of Japan. So all the eyes so far are on the Bank of Japan for the yen pairs. If they are going to push USD yen down, all the yen pairs will create any aggressive bearish wave. So don't miss this, just uh, watch this closely. The price and the market is already hesitating to break through this area because it is obvious because otherwise this was going to break through this zone and it was going to move higher. So that is why the market is only benefiting from these small moves as well because they have a top so far. Another one that I had many questions from our group members, from the Telegram members, is about Swiss franc and Japanese yen. This is in a very weird situation compared with the others. Also on this analysis that I shared at the same time with uh, GBP yen, this was on September to, uh, 25th here, we may see that the price was below the structure and later it reached all the targets. The bigger movement that was created at this moment was created by the Bank of Japan again. So it happened at the same time across all the yen pairs. So what is happening so far on the on Swiss yen and what you should know here. Many think that uh, the price broke through the top at this moment. It was at this point. But as you can see on the right part of the structure, we may see uh, this type of movement that it was created during these days, but I don't think that it was created from the Bank of Japan. I think that it was created uh, from the problem that uh, is related with the Swiss National Bank. During the previous time they said that we are going to intervene in the market and uh, they are already doing uh, this type of dirty things again. That is why we have to be very careful from the Swiss related currency pairs. It was something that cannot justify this movement at all. 
from the top this movement was approximately 200 pips so it's very big many think that uh, many are supposing let's say that this movement was created because the swiss franc is a safe haven currency but on the other hand we have also usd that is a safe haven currency we have japanese yen and we have also other currency pairs that are too far away from the war zone so why only swiss franc pushed through all the market so it was not related with uh, only with the, the yen pairs so that is why we have to be very very careful from the swiss franc it is better if you stay away from this one the swiss national bank is still supporting this currency and i don't think that it will move down anytime soon so the only movement that i see that can be aggressive one can be only from the usdn and it will drag down all the amperes so this is the only possibility that i see for the price moving down here so that's all for uh, this outlook through the amperes I hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to hit the like button and follow. Thank you. Bye-bye.